Now let us take one more illustration. There is a block, mass is small m. It is placed on a trolley and there is friction between trolley and block. And trolley is having mass capital N and there is no friction between trolley and ground. So let us write this problem. Block of mass m is pushed with the velocity v0. We push this block with the velocity v0 on the rough surface of the trolley and trolley is having mass capital N, we discussed here and there is no friction between ground and trolley and here we need to find minimum distance of the relative sliding between the block and plank. What will happen here? If we throw the block on the trolley, the kinetic friction will start acting on the block in the backward direction opposite to the motion of the block. It will reduce the velocity of the block, but in turn, the kinetic friction force will act on the trolley in the rightward direction. That means the velocity of the trolley will keep on increasing. There will be one time when velocity of the block will be equal to velocity of the trolley. Why? Velocity of the block is decreasing and velocity of the trolley is increasing. There will be certain time when both velocities are equal. When these velocity will be equal, relative sliding will stop and we need to find this relative sliding distance, right? So let us make this diagram again and as we discuss, we need to first discuss about the system and here system is the block and trolley car. Now observe our system. We can observe here there is friction between the block and trolley and there is no friction between the ground and trolley and also there is no external force acting any contact force is acting in the system in the horizontal direction that means we can say no external force acting on the system in the horizontal direction and we discussed the relative sliding will stop when the block and trolley move with a common velocity so we can say relative sliding will stop when block and trolley move with a common velocity. Let this velocity is capital V, right? Now, let us write the work energy theorem. This is the work energy theorem that is the work done by the internal force plus work done by the external force equal to kinetic energy final with respect to center of mass minus kinetic energy of the system initially with respect to center of mass and we have written this term again. Now, let us come to the relative velocity initially. We know initially we have given the velocity to the block that is V0 and trolley was at rest. That means the initial relative velocity between the block and trolley equal to V0 minus 0. So this is V0, right? As we discussed, when relative sliding stops, trolley and block move with a common velocity. That means the relative velocity final should be equal to 0. And we know there is no external force acting on the system that is work done by the external forces should be equal to zero. And here is one internal force that is the kinetic friction. So let us make the free body diagram of the system for calculating this internal force. Weight will act in the downward direction, normal direction, upward direction that should be equal to a small mg and friction force mu mg in the backward direction. So, here friction force that is a kinetic friction force equal to mu mg and relative sliding distance is x. So, work done by the kinetic friction here minus mu mg x. Now, we can substitute this value that is the internal burden in this equation and also we have written the velocity, final velocity and initial velocity. Here we can observe we can rearrange this will get cancelled and m, m m will also get cancelled and x will be equal to this is the a separation that is the relative separation between the blocks right 